like one tap like this. One tap? Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, Ooh, that's perfect. <laughs> You're silly, Dad. Oh. All right. I wanted to talk about a little something something today. Tutti Fruity? Not Tutti Fruity. <laughs> I want to talk about how you can just like make yourself resilient against like getting sick. I work at a hospital as a pharmacist and so I see all the people, every patient that goes to the ICU, every patient that gets on There's a ventilator. There's a ton of people that are sick. Yeah. Um, the ones that have a hard time, they have comorbidities. I know that this is like <laughs> anecdotal, but there's also plenty of, you know, legit evidence to back that up. Every single one that goes into the ICU, whether it was COVID or something else, they have comorbidities. Like, they're, they have other things going on. So, just a few ways to, like, make yourself resilient against sickness. Number one, if you smoke, stop smoking. Those What's little, smoking? You know those little sticks that people put in their mouth and they have a fire on them? Yeah. Yeah. Those are gross. And you're destroying your lungs. They're so bad for you. Plus, it increases your risk for cancer. Just bad, bad news. And you get any sort of respiratory illness yeah, and no, you smoke I, I'm never gonna get one. <laughs> yeah don't ever do that oh i see some coffee it's just not worth it so if if you smoke stop smoking if you don't smoke don't ever start that's number one number two Wait. you should probably work out but you got to go beyond just working out you got to find something that's exciting for you so you exercise consistently. So lately I've really been into uh, like, I guess powerlifting and strongman and- Strongman. Strongman. Strong <laughs> it's been super fun and it's helped me build muscle, get stronger, um, lose some body fat. And what was that? <laughs> And it's been, it gives me some other goals besides, you know, what the mirror looks like and what the scale that says. That dish. Oh, yeah, look at those. <laughs> You've been doing pull-ups, huh? Yeah, MPE. MPE? Yeah, um, But there's, there's a lot of different ways you can find motivation. Maybe you're one of those insane people that likes to run. You could train for a marathon or 5K or whatever. Um, I don't understand those people, but maybe you like that. Maybe you like swimming. Maybe you like CrossFit. Maybe you like, you know, workout videos. But just find something that is fun for you to work out. For me, it's strongman and barbell training. What's barbell? Did you know, you like just, like deadlift you, or squat. Dad, did you just say barbecue sauce? I like barbecue sauce, but I'm talking <laughs> about bar, barbell training. All right, number three get your diet in check and again there's uh, like a bazillion ways to do this you just got to find what works for you like, i'm getting your ears checked in your eyes so you can see oh yeah <laughs> but like just eat as clean as you can not all the time like sometimes yeah. you just need a good greasy cheeseburger but eat as clean as you can and find find something that works for you to get you know the calories that you need <laughs> Um, for me, I like dividing my macros in thirds as far as calorie count. So third protein, third fat, third carbs. And that keeps my carbs kind of lower than like the USDA diet, but high enough where I don't feel miserable. I've tried like the absolute no carb thing and it just doesn't work for me, but maybe it works for you. Maybe you like that. Maybe you like intermittent fasting. I use my fitness pal, count my calories, and uh, count, try to divide my macros in thirds, and it works really well for me. Um, but there's a bazillion different ways to do it. Just find one that works for you that you can stick with. Okay, 
Number four, I would say that uh, you should probably just like not drink alcohol. What's like, alcohol? It's like adult drinks. I mean, everything in moderation, right? But I have seen so many times that people drink what is they consider like a normal amount of alcohol, like couple beers a night or whatever and over time it just destroys your liver I have seen time and time and time again in the hospital where like people's liver just can't produce what your body needs you can't make blood clots you can't metabolize things the way that you're supposed to and plus it's just a lot of extra basically like sugar calories so um, in my opinion not worth it I would just like I would cut it out and it's gonna make you more resilient <laughs> to illness. Yeah, I think those four things are probably probably no, good. there's a step five. There's a step five? What? Okay. To um, being healthy? Yeah. Don't eat like don't like you eat all like chips, candy and stuff. Like sweet stuff. You like like ham, turkey, pizza. Pizza? <laughs> Yeah, get get your protein in for sure. Yeah. Don't eat all the sweets and stuff. Okay, I think we could do we could do one more thing up at step five. What? Okay. <laughs> step five, I would say throwing in a little a little cardio during the week. And I'm not talking about like going for a jog or whatever. I'm talking about high intensity interval training. Something that's like 10 or 15 minutes, gets your heart rate pumping. There's something really cool that it does for your heart. So all of your blood vessels and stuff, um, after a training session like that, they stay dilated for like 20 What's or 30 dilated? minutes. Means like opened up. And, open but up? your heart rate will come down. And basically it like deloads your heart so your heart doesn't have to push against um, like tight blood vessels it's pushing against opened up <laughs> blood vessels which gives your heart a break and it's really really good for you all right what do we talk about we talked about don't smoke talked about probably don't drink we talked about workout workout find some kind of workout that you enjoy that you can stick to talked about keeping your diet in check and there's lots of different ones and um, I can make a video on different diets in what? your checks and ice checks. oh yeah um, and we talked about drinking lots of water and we talked about some cardio so those are six things that you could start doing that will make yourself resilient to illness all right. Got anything else to add? No. All right, me neither. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching.